Now proving you're vaccinated or COVID free is now the only way to getting in some of your favorite spots in Nashville. But what happens when you can't find your vaccine card? News Force Tosin Fakile joins us live from Metro Health Department. And Tosin, what will people need to know? Well, Marius, look no further than your county health department. That's what officials say. And if you got vaccinated several months ago and can't find your vaccine card, well, look no further than the Lentz building behind me for your replacement. Vaccination cards, you can sort of call it a cover charge for getting into several places in Nashville, like the East Room, which starting today requires proof for entry. Public safety is our number one issue always. And the only way that we can 100% be sure that everyone in the venue is safe is to require a vaccine or a negative COVID test. Um, it's, it's no different than having our fire extinguishers checked regularly. That's all a decision that, that individual businesses or companies or organizations can, can make and yeah, we support those types of decisions. And they're not the only ones requiring proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Places like City Winery and the Five Spot have the same requirements, but businesses say you don't have to bring your physical card. But for now, uh, picture's fine. Actually, I would actually almost prefer that you don't take your card with you just so you don't lose it. City Winery says a picture of your vaccine card would work or proof of a negative PCR or rapid COVID test. City Winery says if you don't have any of those, they have rapid tests available on site for $15. The five spot says a picture of your vaccine card or proof of a negative COVID test would work, but they would also need your ID to match the name on the negative COVID test. It's pretty much a business decision. We uh, can't close again and things have started to get a little, a little worse. So, you know, we have to do what we can. But if you misplaced your vaccination card, don't worry, there's a way to get it back. For example, if you got your shot at the Music City Center, you live in Davidson County, you actually can come here to Lentz and we'll give you another card. For instance, if you live in Sumner County, even though you got your shot at the Music City Center, you could still go to the Sumner County Health Department and get another card. So it's not, it's not specific to where you got your shot. It's really more specific to the state's database system, which is based on where you live. Now, another fact about vaccine card, Brian Todd says he knows people wants to protect their card, but they advise against laminating your card. They say during the lamination process, the heat from that smears the ink on the card. So Marius, Brian suggests if people want to protect their card, there's sleeves that they can slide their vaccine cards into that will give it the same protection away from it being damaged. Back to you. Tosin, great information there. Thank you. Well, things are changing every single day now as the Delta variant dominates our country. As we learn new information we're going to tell you right here on air and online and in the free news for app.